one, two, three. Shout, shout, shine, shout, shout, shine. Every soul is divine. Shout, shout, shine, shout, shout, shine. Open the doors, hear a shout and shine. Left handed, right handed, short and tall. Whoever we believe in believes in a song. Break down, bow it fast and slow. Love is the music that we all know. Shout, shout, shine, shout, shout, shine. Every soul is divine. Shout, shout, shine, shout, shout, shine. Shout and shine is what we embrace. The past is written, we must admit. The future is what we do. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Kathy Fink. This is Marcy Markser. That song, Shout and Shine, is a tune that I wrote in honor of the International Bluegrass Music Association Week Shout and Shine Showcase, sponsored by Pinecone and the Bluegrass Situation. When Justin Hiltner invited us to be part of that a couple of years ago, I asked him if they had a theme song. He said no. I said, well, then I need to write one. We're going to combine two of our musical loves right now into two very small instruments. We love old time music, you already know that. We also have a huge love of the ukulele. Marcy and I are the co-artistic directors of the ukulele festival at the Music Center at Strathmore. Check us out, strathmore.org. And right now we're going to combine Appalachian music with some Hawaiian instruments. And we call this style Appalachialoha. So we're going to take a piece from Sam and Kirk McGee of sunny Tennessee called Snowdrop, originally finger-picked on the five-string banjo. Play it claw hammer on the ukulele with a little finger-picking ukulele here. Here we go, Snowdrop.
Aloha. This next song is one that I originally wrote back in 1989, right after the name's quilt was first shown on the National Mall. <laughs> Nine hundred and seventy-two names on the quilt back then in honor of people that were lost to AIDS. And the next year there were 40,000 names on the quilt. Now there's way over 100,000 quilt panels. But of course, the whole concept of thinking of and remembering people that we've lost has come round again near and dear through the pandemic of COVID. And as I was making a quilt to commemorate some of those people with empty chairs with some of their favorite things in those chairs, I thought I should really be able to update this song. The name song was uh, recorded by hundreds of different groups and choruses and individuals through the years, and now I've added a new verse to commemorate people that we've lost to COVID, and let's hope, now that we're getting vaccines, that we're coming to the close of that chapter. Patchwork of thousands of precious names There must be someone that you know Woven together Names the loved ones won't let go And I know That my name could be there And I feel The pain and the fear And as human love and passions Do not make us all the same We are counted not as numbers But as names suffer again. We know it didn't need to be.
empty chairs of our families and friends. The future is up to you and me. And I know that my name could be there and I feel the pain and the fear and as you do not make us all the same We are counted not as numbers But as names And as human love and passions Do not make us all the same We are counted not as numbers But as names Sending love to all of you who have lost someone to either one of those pandemics or to something else in the last year where the pandemic has made it even more challenging. Marcy and I have a big soft spot in our hearts for the history of women in country music. And uh, one woman that we thought really wasn't getting near the attention that she deserved for the incredible contributions as an amazing guitar player is Mother Maybelle Carter of the original Carter family. She kind of invented a guitar style. She learned some of that style from a man named Leslie Riddle, but then she took it to new places and really pioneered lead guitar in country music, which got picked up by so many other different styles of music. Now, there's a story that goes with this song. Someplace along the line, I read somewhere, and I cannot remember where, and I cannot find it, so if you know where it is, please contact me at info at kathymarcy.com. Someplace along the line, I found out that when Mother Maybell did her original Bristol sessions. Each one of the Carter family got paid something like 250 bucks, which would be like making thousands and thousands of dollars right now. And at the time, she and her husband were trying to decide whether she should get a diamond wedding ring or a brand new Gibson guitar. Well, they went for the Gibson L5 brand new guitar. That is the guitar that she played for her entire career. It is now on display at the Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum. And I thought, minimally, she deserves a song. She got lots of awards, but I want to remember her for a long time. This is called Maybell Played Guitar. plays guitar has to learn the wildwood flower that she recorded at 19 on a beat up old guitar. Leslie Riddle taught her some, showed her how to use that thumb. Carter Scratch, lead and strum, Maybell played guitar. A Gibson or diamond ring, only one could help you sing. She earned her place among the stars, Maybell played guitar. Sound from that Gibson box, wooden strings, and fancy chops change country music, folk, and rock. When Maybell played guitar, Doc and Merle, and Norman Blake, you know what? Even Chet would try to take just liquor to ride from her hands when Maybell played guitar. A Gibson or a diamond ring, only one could help you sing. She earned her place among the stars. Maybell played guitar. She held court, you know, to play with her was your passport. To licks and tricks and country songs, Maybell played guitar. The country Music Hall of Fame, Mother Maybell was her name for guitar picking songs in heart. Maybell played guitar, a Gibson or a diamond ring, only one can help you sing. She earned her place among the stars, Maybell played guitar. Maybell played guitar.
Maybelle Carter. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna do another switcheroo here, pick up a couple ukuleles. We're gonna feature Marcy, one of the most amazing instrumentalists I know, playing a gypsy jazz tune on the mighty ukulele. Here's Dark Eyes. <laughs> guys. Mercy, mercy. We're going to close off with a great tune that's been swirling around different places for a long time, most recently to our friend Paul Brown, who swirled it over to us a little bit, rearranged it some. It's called Let's Build That Loving Land. It's got a great course for you to sing on, and I'm playing it on this earth tone of a banjo Amazing. with a 15-inch pot, got strings made by George Wunderlich, a replica of a mid-1980s banjo. This has a singable chorus. Come on, my sisters. Come on, my brothers. Come on, my neighbors. Let's build that loving land. I think it be a, might be 1880s in that banjo instead of 1980s. You're right. How could just, I have just said that? Just checking. Little intro. One, two, three. Trouble, get in while the soul is trouble. Get in while the soul is trouble. Let's build that. 
Let's do it. 